بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وأهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين اللهم صل على محمد In chapter on Salat at Shara'i al-Islam we are teaching the books the book Shara'i al-Islam في مسائل الحلال والحرام and this is volume number one and the author is Abu Al-Qasim Najmuddin Ja'far ibn Al-Hasan Al-Hilli. The book is about 700 years old. We went in the book of Salat to the fourth, Ar-Rukn al the fourth part. The fourth part discusses errors and doubts in the prayers. In the last lesson that we had, we discussed that the error that comes willfully, that someone willfully violates his prayers, willfully, and he does that on purpose. We mentioned what are the rulings. Today, we are taking a new lesson, and this lesson is about the errors and the mistakes that happens and willfully. Not on purpose, but by mistake. By mistake. So let's go to this lesson. We say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. وَأَمَّا السَّهُ As to the errors and the mistakes. فَإِنْ أَخَلَّ بِرُكْنٍ أَعَاد If he, if he does some error in one of, one of the arkan. What are the arkan, my friends? The arkan of the prayers, what are they? One by one? Uh, tell me two or three of them. Niyah. Niyah, exactly. Niyah, sujood, okay. Qara'a. Now, the rukn, no, not the qara'a. Qara'a is not rukn. Qara'a is wajib, but not rukn. What do we mean by rukn? Rukn in Arabic means a pillar, foundation. Now, if we remove the foundation, the building is going to collapse or not? Yes. The building is going to collapse. This is why we call it foundation. Otherwise, we don't call it foundation. Same thing in the prayers. If you remove or this rukn foundation is removed from the prayers, even by error, then the salat is not going to be accepted. The salat would collapse. So, if this invalidation happens to a rukn, then the rukn has to be Repeat it. You can't finish the prayers without repeating the rukn. فَإِنْ أَخَلَّ بِرُكْلٍ أَعَادْ كَمَنْ أَخَلَّ بِالْقِيَامِ حَتَّى نَوَى At the time of Niyya, my friends, you have to be standing. Even if you can't stand while you are reading. Some people, they, when they want to read Hamdan Surah, they cannot stand. It's okay. But when they say Allahu Akbar, Niyya and, and Takbira, they have to stand. If they can, of course. If they afford standing, at least for the Niyya and Takbira to Ihram, they say in their mind, I pray, Maghrib, prayers, three rak'ah, qurbatin Allah Ta'ala, Allahu Akbar. Then if they can't stand anymore, they can sit. So at the, sta the, the, the standing has to be, when you do the Niyya, you have to stand. This is Rukn, okay? Or, or hatta kabbar. If he did Allahu Akbar, but then his niyyah, either he didn't do niyyah, he didn't do niyyah, he was absent minded, or he did the wrong niyyah rather than saying, I'm doing Maghrib, he said, I'm doing Fajr prayers because it was dark, for instance. He was confused, you know. Rather than saying Maghrib, he said Fajr or Isha. So he did. The niyyah by mistake. He has to go back and fix it. Okay? He has to go back and fix the niyyah. And do the takbir to the Again, of course. Yeah, he would repeat the takbir to the haram. Okay? Or, بالتكبير حتى قرأ He, he did not do the right takbir until he started reading. Reading Surah Al-Hamd. So he goes back to the takbir and fix the takbir. Either he didn't do the takbir 
or he said Allahu, just Allahu. He forgot Akbar first. Or he said Akbar, because his friend's name is Akbar, he remembered that. He just said Akbar without saying Allahu. Okay? Aw bil ruku'i hatta sajid. Ruku' is ruku'n. So rather than doing ruku' and sujood, he went from qiyam diving into sujood. So he has to stand from his sujood and do the ruku' and go back to, to the sujood again. Aw bil sajdatayni hatta raka'a fi ma ba'd. He did ruku' he went for sujood but he forgot to do the sujood or the sujood was not a proper one for instance his forehead did not reach the floor then even if he stands for the second rak'ah before he reaches ruku' if he remembers before he reaches the ruku' of the second rak'ah are you with me then he has to go back for sujood he does the sujood and then he stands again he does qara'a or ruku'. Okay? Now, if, one, if one let's question. say... It, it says restart the mute. Um, I thought that means restart the whole salah from the beginning. No, so no, no. That's just no, no. one part. No, a'ada, he, he has to go back to the part that he did not do well. Not the entire prayers. So go back one rakan. Exactly. Whatever rukun, rukun that he, he, he missed. Violated. He will fix it and then he goes. Okay. Exactly. Waqil. But there is another opinion. Waqil yusqitu zaid Omit the addition. Wayati bil fa'it. And he make up the missed part after the prayers. Meaning that. Meaning that. He. He, if he did, let's say, three rak'ah, uh, three sujood, okay, rather than doing two sujood, he remembered, oh my God, I did a three, or I did two ruku', rather than doing one ruku', I did one. After the salat, he omits that in his mind. He says, okay, I consider the three sujood that I did two, or I consider the two ruku' that I did one ruku'. So he omits one. Or if he, let's say, if he did rather than doing two sujoods, he did one sujood. He remembered. He said, oh, in the second rak'ah, I did one sujood, not two sujoods. So he will offset that by doing extra sujood after the salat. Okay? This is not in the instance where there is doubt, but there is certainty. There is certainty. If there is doubt, he doesn't care about it. Right. If the doubt happens after you say Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, you finish, and then a doubt comes to your mind, oh, did I do ruku'? Did I do sujood? You don't care about it. Because this is after you finished. Once you finish, don't care. Don't go back to it. But if, if it is not doubt, you know for sure. I know for sure I did not do ruku'. I remember. I know for sure I did one sujood. Then this is not doubt anymore. So he has to fix it after the prayers. وَيَأْتِي بِالْفَائِتْ وَيَبْنِي عَلَى صَحَّةِ الصَّلَاةِ So he make up what he missed, the missed part after the salat, and then he says, my salat is sahih. Correct. وَقِيلَ There is another opinion. يَخْتَصُّ هَذَا الْحُكْمْ بِالْأَخِيرَتَيْنِ Another opinion says, see he's, he's bringing opinions of others, not just him. Okay? He says, he says, he consider his salat correct only when he has doubt in the third and the fourth rak'ah, not in the first and the second rak'ah. Okay? Or if he did something wrong in the third and the fourth rak'ah, he can fix them after the salat. But if he had done the wrong, the mistake, the error in the first and the second, he has to repeat his salat altogether. وَلَوْ كَانَ فِي الْأَوَّلَيْنِ اسْتَأْنَفْ But if, if the broken part was in the first and the second rak'ah, he has to restart, اسْتَأْنَفْ the entire salat from beginning. But he, the shaykh says, Shaykh al-Hilli, he says, وَالْأَوَّلُ أَظْهَرْ My opinion is more accurate. Okay? What was his opinion? Do the missed part after the salah, regardless of when it happens during the salah. 
whether it's in the first or second. Right? No. Not after this advance. When you miss a rukun, then you go back and do that rukun. Exactly. You do the rukun that you missed. I thought it's talking about in the, the salat. Act to no, no, no. The, he says no. If if he's, he says, in his opinion, this is qil, qil other opinions. In his opinion, if you missed the rukn and then you finish the salat, you do the entire salat. His opinion is that. You go back and you do the entire salat. You don't do just that rukn after the salat. Other opinions, they say you don't have to do the entire salat. You just make up that particular rukn after the salat. He says, no, I'm not with this opinion. You have to go and do the entire salat all over again. Okay? وَكَذَا لَوْ زَادَ فِي الصَّلَاةِ رَكْعَةً أَوْ رُكُوعًا أَوْ سَجْدَتَيْنَ أَعَادَ الصَّلَاةَ سَهْوًا أَوْ عَمْدًا The author says, same with if he did rather than, let's say, Maghrib is a three rak'ah, he did four rak'ah. Or, he has to do one ruku', he did two ruku's. Or he has to do two sujood, let's say he did three sujoods. Okay? And whether it was by error, by mistake, whether his mistake was in purpose or not in purpose, an innocent mistake, he has to repeat the prayers after he finishes the salat because he added one rukn. He added one more rukn where he should not add. So he has to repeat the salat. Okay? Waqila, another opinion. Law shakka fi ruku'i fa raka'a. Thumma dhakara annahu kana qad raka'a. Arsala nafsa. Another opinion. He says, but he doesn't agree with this opinion. He's just bringing this opinion that belongs to Shaykh Al-Tusi and Al-Sayyid Al-Sharif Al-Murtaba, Alam Al-Huda. Two great scholars. He say, they say, if, if he, if he did ruku', okay, and he had doubt, did I do ruku' or not? So he did a second ruku', thinking that this was his first ruku'. But while he did the second ruku', he remembered, no, listen, I did the ruku'. Those two scholars, they say, he does not raise his head from ruku'. Because if he raises his head from ruku', the ruku' will be complete. So if he remembers that he already did the ruku', from ruku', he goes nose dive to sujood without a standing. So you can imagine how he can go, you know. <laughs> I, I cannot demonstrate that. From ruku' to sujood, like some kids, you know, they make a shortcut, ruku' to sujood. But he says, well, Ashbahul Butlan. Shaykh Al Hilli, okay, Alam Al Hilli, he says, no, to me, this is, he added one more, one more ruku', rukun to his prayers, and that would automatically invalidate his prayers. So he has to repeat the prayers. He has to do another prayers. He cannot fix it. It is unfixable because he added rukun to it. When you add a rukn, according to him, it is unfixable. Okay, Arash, are you with me? Yes. yes. Now, in case that he has to do, let's say, Isha has four rak'ah, but he did three rak'ah. Now, let's say he concluded the salat, but oh, I did three rak'ah. Why did I do three rak'ah? This is Isha, I have to do four rak'ah. Now, if he still did not invalidate the prayers, such as what? Such as passing winds, for instance, okay? Or urinating, or doing something that invalidates the prayers. He can stand again and do one extra rak'ah. Even if he did that in the Fajr, let's say in the Fajr, he was so sleepy, he did one rak'ah thinking that he did two. But as soon as he said, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, oh, this is only one rak'ah. So if he does not invalidate the prayers, he's just sitting there, he can, 
immediately stand for the second rak'ah. No, 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 he shouldn't, he shouldn't, he shouldn't, he should not talk, okay? He should not, uh, talking it's okay, but let's say he did not turn 180 degrees to the Qibla, or he did not do hadith, hadith passing winds or, or, or gas or whatever, okay? If he didn't do that, then he can stand and do the second rak'ah, the missed one. After Taslimi. So, and there's no takbir at al-ihram, there's nothing, you stand straight up and go straight yes, up to the... Yes, he goes to the second rak'ah. Mm -hmm. وَإِن ذَكَرَ بَعْدَ أَنْ فَعَلَ مَا يُبْطِلُهَا But no, unfortunately, if he said, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, and then he invalidated his wudu, or he turned 180 degrees, he did something, you know. Even if he moved into this direction, still he can, if, he, if his face towards the qibla, but if he turned his back to the Qibla, in this case, he has to repeat the prayers from beginning. Okay? وَإِن كَانَ يُبْطِلُهَا عَمْدًا لَا سَهْوًا كَالْكَلَامِ Now this is answering Brother Nadim's question. He finished his prayers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, and then he said, he called his wife, Um Ali, is lunch ready or not? <laughs> This is, this is, they say, فيه ترددن. فيه ترددن. This speaking, speaking in the prayers, if you speak sahu, not on purpose, in error, even while you are doing your prayers, Allahu Akbar, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Rahman, Rahim, and then the child comes and he does, Bachan Akun. Sometimes you yell at your kid. But he forgets, not on purpose, does not invalidate the prayers, does not. You can continue your prayers. But if you know you are speaking, okay, not spontaneously, you know, you speak with intention, then this is, it will invalidate. Are you with me? So kalam, the speech and the prayers has two ways. One way that you know, you say it on purpose, it will invalidate your prayers. But sometimes it's spontaneous. For instance, today there was Ra'du Bark, thunderstorm. Someone in the his prayer, Ah! For instance, he says, Ah. <laughs> Some people they say it, you know, why they, they don't mean it, you know. But it would not invalidate their prayers. Okay? وَإِن كَانَ يُبْطِلُهَا عَمْدًا لَا سَهْوًا كَالْكَلَامِ فِيهِ تَرَدُّدٌ Allam al-Hilli, Muhaqqiq al-Hilli, he says, Muhaqqiq al-Hilli, he says, the involuntary speech does not destroy the prayers. So if after the Salat, you discover that you are missing one rak'ah, even if you spoke, then it would not, you can stand and do the extra rak'ah, the missing rak'ah, even if you spoke in the middle, okay? Even if you answered your iPhone and you spoke with your friend, he invited you for lunch, you said, Inshallah, I'm coming soon. And then, oh, I did, Dhuhr, I did only three rak'ah today. Why? So you stand and finish the fourth. Okay? You don't have to repeat the prayers all over again. You, have, you don't have to repeat the entire prayers. وَكَذَا لَوْ تَرَكَ التَّسْلِيمَ ثُمَّ ذَكَرْ some people they say, some people they say, after he said tashahud, you have to do taslim to conclude the prayers. Some people they forgot to say the taslim. As long as you did not invalidate your prayers by turning away from the qibla or by destroying your wudu, then you can go back, sit there, and say assalamu alaikum assalamu alaikum ayyuhan nabi wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh assalamu alayna wa ala ibadillah salihin assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh you don't have to repeat your prayers all over again okay walaw taraka sajdatayn lam yadri ahuma min rak'atayn aw rak'ah rajjahna janib al-ihtiyat now if he 
missed two sajda. He doesn't know whether the, these two sajdas are from the same rak'ah or each sajda from one rak'ah. He says, I prefer precaution here, using cautious, or caution here, and using caution is what? What does it mean? You finish your prayers, you don't break it. You finish your prayers, you, after finishing the prayers, do the two missing sajda, and again stand and do another prayers. This is caution, okay? So, finish the prayers, do two sajda that you missed, okay? You missed it during your first prayers, and then do another set of prayers, extra set of prayers. Because this one has some broken things in it. So fix it by doing, by repeating the prayers again, restarting the prayers. Well, instead of, can't they just break the prayer and just start over? No, 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 you can't. Don't do that. You have finish, finish your prayers. Thing. Finish your prayers, yes. Don't. Today, it was, uh, I was actually, I was in my office. Mm. First rakah, somebody walked in. We no problem. To, this is... You speak to him. Yeah. No problem. This is because you had to speak to him. This is office. This is business work. You had to, or you had to, to get a call. Somebody called you, important, you know, emergency, to answer the door. It's okay. You break your prayers. You don't continue the prayers. You begin all over again. But in this case, when you have doubt, nobody walked in. You have doubt, finish the prayers, do the two rak sajda that you think you have missed and stand and do another prayers as ihtiyat as ihtiyat precaution walaw kanata min rak'atayn wa lam yadri ayyatuhuma hiya now qil yu'id as-salat li'annahu lam taslam lahu al-awwalatan yaqinan wal adhhar innahu la i'ada wa alayhi sajdata as-sahu now he says, if these two sajdas were from, from two rak'ahs, but he doesn't know which two rak'ahs. Is it the first rak'ah and the second? Is it the second and the third? Is it the third and the fourth? He doesn't know. Qeel, there is opinion that says he has to repeat his prayers. But Muhaqqiq al-Halli, he says, no, al-Azhar annahu la i'ada. For me, he does not have to repeat his prayers, but he has to do sajdata as-sahu. Sajdata as-sahu. So he does these two sajdas that he missed. He does them. He offset them. He makes them up. And then after that, he does two sajda of sahu. Do you follow me or not? Let me explain to you. I was doing Salat al dhuhr today. And while I was finishing my Salat, I remembered, oh, maybe the first rak'ah, I did only one sujood, whereas I had to do two. And maybe the third rak'ah too, I missed one sujood. So the total sujood I missed are two. But which rak'ah exactly, I don't know. I don't know. But I am sure I did not do. How many sujood we had to do? Eight. Each rak'ah, two sujood. I am sure I did six, not two. Okay? But I don't know which rak'ah. Number one, number two, number three, number four. In this case, finish the prayers. Once you say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, do two sujood of setting what you missed. Once you finish these two sujood, do two sajdatay sahu to integrate your prayers, to put the final touch on it. Are you with me? So you have to do two things. The two sujood that you originally missed, plus two sajdatay sahu, which will we come to it, inshallah. Okay? Okay. وَإِنْ أَخَلَّ بِوَاجِبٍ غَيْرَ رُكْنٍ 
Now we said if he invalidated the arkan, he has to repeat the rukn. Suppose he did not invalidate a rukn, not rukn. Some part of this that you miss, you finish your prayers, you don't have to do any atonement, no penalty, no, no action after it. Just walk away and your salat is, is sahih. But there is other things that you miss if you missed in the prayers. You have to do sujood as sahu and without sujood as sahu you just do that, that part that you missed. And there is another part that if you miss, you have to do that missing part plus sujood, sujood as sahu so we have a three solutions here. The first one, first one, let's come to the easier part where if you miss something, you don't have to repeat it at all. Neither you have to do sajda so. It's forgiven. What are they? Read it here. Man nasiya al qara'a. Man nasiya al qara'a. Until you go for ruku'a. You said Allahu Akbar. Okay. Silent. Today, he's shocked because he watched the debate of Donald Trump <laughs> last night, so he doesn't know what to say. He just said, Allahu Akbar. And then he went for ruku' subhan rabbi. Oh, I didn't read anything. If you reached ruku', you don't have to stand. Why? Because qara'a, is it ruku'? Yes. No. Yes, no. No. Standing is ruku'. Qiyam. Qiyam. Niyya. Takbiratul Ihram, Qiyam, Ruku', Sujood, Tashahud, Salam, but not recitation. It's not Ruk'n. So if you miss it, your prayers is not going to be broken. Whereas for the Ruk'n, if you miss the Ruk'n, then if you don't repeat it while you are doing the prayers, it's going to be broken. You have to repeat the prayers altogether. Qara'a is not Ruk'n. Qara'a is wajib, but not Ruk'n. It stops short of being rukn. Okay? So if you reach ruku and then you remember, I didn't read, then it's okay. It's okay. You don't have to repeat. Or today is salat al dhuhr and I have to be silent. Ikhfat, silent, but I read it out loud. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillah rabbil alameen ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. What happened to me? I remember when I was doing ruku. Before Ruku', if I remember it before Ruku', what should I do? Lower your voice. And begin, begin the recitation all over again. If you read, we said, if we we said it. I think we, yeah, we talked about it. According to Muhaqqaq al-Hilli, but contemporary, this is the fatwa, contemporary scholars, they say repeat. As a precaution, repeat the, the, uh, the, the recitation. Oh, okay. Yeah, repeat it. For him, yes, I remember. For him, he says, just lower your voice. You don't have to repeat. But today, the maraja, today, they say repeat while you are still standing. Okay? So he says, if you, if you forget the recitation altogether, or you, you forget to read loud where you're supposed to read loud in Maghrib and Isha and Fajr, or you forgot to read silent in Dhuhr and Asr, okay? Or you, re, you forgot to recite Surah Al-Hamd. Or after Surah Al-Hamd, you forgot to recite the Surah. Qul huwa Allah wahad, let's say. Until you do sujood, until you do ruku', then you continue with your prayers. Or when you did ruku', you forgot to say Subhana Rabbi al azim this is the minimum that you have to say. Subhan Rabbi al Azim. Minimum, minimum. You forgot until you raised your head. Oh, I did ruku', but I was silent. Or you stood from ruku', you didn't stand. While you were standing from ruku', you jumped to sujood. From ruku' to sujood without standing. I've seen here, believe me. Some people, I do ruku'. I finish my record, they arrive, they're doing the second sajda. 
while I'm still still standing, believe me. And I keep telling them, Habibi, you have to have itminan. After ruku', you stand, you say, at least, Sami'allahu liman hamida. Three seconds, and then we go. No, they can't. As soon as they say, Allahu Akbar, shit, immediately, especially in Ramadan, because the iftar is waiting for them. <laughs> yeah. It's mustahab that we stand from ruku', wajib, not mustahab. We have to stand. We reach the stage of tama'nina. They say tama'nina, motionless. And it is mustahab that you do adhkar. Rabbana wa lakal hamd, sami'allahu liman hamida. We, we mentioned them here in this book last time. There are certain dhiks that you have. Don't go immediately for sujood. Mustahab, this is mustahab. But the standing is wajib. From ruku' you have to stand. You can't go from ruku' immediately to sujood. Okay, so suppose he, he didn't stand full standing. He went for sujood, then he remembered, oh, I did the mistake again. I forgot what the imam told me. Because it becomes habit, you know. For some people, they would never learn this. Habit. He's been doing this for 30 years. In this case, he doesn't have to repeat the standing. Or when he raises his head from ruku' and he forgot to mention the dhikr of ruku', he doesn't have to repeat it. You pass it. That's it. Because this is not ruku'. Okay? Uh, <clears throat> our dhikr for sujood, if he, if he forgets the sujood, or, you know, in sujood, how many positions we have to touch the floor? It has to touch the floor. Seven. Let's say he didn't put his hand, you know, his hand was above the ground. Maybe he was doing some ex yoga. <laughs> he forgot, you know. Okay, or his, 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 his toes were, you know, up in the air. Okay. And then after sujood, he forgot, oh, I didn't put my palm. In this case, he doesn't have to go back for his to repeat the sujood. So these things does not have tadaruk. What is tadaruk? Atonement. Atonement or penalty. You don't have to do them again. Now, the second part is you have to do them. But it does not have sujda so. If you forgot them, you have to repeat them. The first part, you don't have to repeat them. I just mentioned them. The second part where we're going to read now, you have to repeat. مَنْ نَسِيَ قَرَاءَةَ الْحَمْدِ حَتَّى قَرَاءَ السُّورَةِ While you were doing the surah, in the first scenario, you remembered while you, were, you did ruku' Here, before you do ruku' Before you do ruku' you were saying, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدٍ Some people, believe me, they say, Allahu Akbar, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Qul huwa Allahu Ahad, Allahu samad They begin with the surah, not with the hamd. But then he said, what? I didn't do hamd. So here, you have to stop, go back, do the hamd, and then repeat the surah again. Because you have not reached ruku' yet. You are still standing. You are still in the position of standing. You are still during that act. The act has not finished yet. So you have to do the hamd, and then do the surah again. وَكَذَا لَوْ نَسِيَ الرُّكُوعِ You forgot ruku' after qira'ah. While he was going to sujood, before he puts his forehead on the ground, he said, wait a minute, where is the ruku'? He stands. He goes back. He does the ruku' and then go to sujood. Or he went to sujood but he could not put, let's say, his entire forehead on the ground. Okay? He was still airborne. Still his, his, his forehead was not touching the ground, let's say. And then he remembered before he did the second ruku'. Are you with me? Even while he was doing the qara'ah of the second rak'ah, he remembered, my forehead was not on the ground. He goes back. He does the sujood, proper sujood, and then he stands for his qara'ah, for the second rak'ah. Okay? 
or he did the salam while he was doing the salam he forgot to do tashahud so in this case he will do tashahud and then he goes back to his salam okay these things <clears throat> Muhaqqaq al-Hilli, he says, he just make up what he missed. He does not have to do sajdatay saw after the prayers. No requirement. Okay? Or if he forgot to say, Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad in his tashahud. You know, part of the tashahud. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Until he finished the salat. Should he go back and do the salat all over again? No. After he said Taslim, he can say, after the Taslim, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, he can say, Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. So many of those who convert to the school of Ahlul Bayt, you know, they forget to say this because they go back to their prayers. In this case, they don't have. If they forget, you don't have to repeat the entire prayers. After the Taslim, say, Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. Let's go for one more sentence. The third, third scenario, when you miss something, you have to go and repeat that thing, plus you have to do what after the salat? Sajdata is so. Such as what? Man taraka sajdatan aw at-tashahud wa lam yathkur hatta yarka. Someone forgot to do Sajda. He did one sajda, let's say. Then he stood for the second rak'ah. He did the recitation. And then he did ruku' again. وَلَمْ يَذْكُرْ حَتَّى يَرْكَعْ He did ruku' for the second rak'ah. While he's still, he's still, he owes you one sajda from his first, from his first rak'ah. But he went to the ruku' of the second sajda. He continues his prayers. But after the salat, he has to make up this sajda. He has to make up this sajda. And also he does what? Sajda taysa. Are you with me? Now let me ask you this question. He did one sajda. And he stood for the second rak'ah. And he was did alhamd in the second rak'ah. And he was doing... And all of a sudden he remembered, but I did one sajda. What should he do? Why? Because he remembered before what? Before the next ruku. So he goes down to the sujood, he does one sajda, then he stands, then he recites hamd and surah, and he continues with the prayers. In this scenario, he remembered when he already passed, the time passed, he went for ruku'. He said, oh my God, I did one sajda. He continues his prayers. After the prayers, he make up this one sajda that he missed, plus what? Sajda taysahu wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ahli bayti al-tayyibin al-tahirin. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad al-Muhammad